computer, I guess. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, thumbs up. Yes, Jen, you can hear me. Okay. So my name is Becca McKernan, and I am a national vice president. And actually co-hosting this call today with me is Jen Clark, um, my regional vice president. And we're super excited to be doing this because we are so pumped to see your faces. A lot of you are new faces for me. So the reason I wanted you to put some information in the side column is because before we get started, Mackenzie, I'm going to pick on you uh, because you're a brand new um, district manager. What I would love to hear from you is um, maybe when you started, we already know Mary's your upline, but tell me like what your why is in Arbonne and anyone who else is like new-ish and wants to share. I just want to hear that real quick. Um, cool. So unmute yourself. Oh, you got it. So yeah, I just did. Um, my why started off to be, um, I just wanted to like lose some weight. And then that's why I did the 30 days. And then um, I decided to become a consultant. And once I did more learning on like the ingredients um, and like how you turn your body into like an alkaline environment, diseases can't live in an alkaline environment. <laughs> that's really important to me because I have like a really strong family history of breast cancer. Um, so my why kind of turned more into of creating a beneficial body for yourself. Um, if that makes sense. And then to have a plan B because I'm in sales. So, you know, you can lose your job at any time. Just you know, having a backup plan, but I plan on this being my only job soon enough. So, woohoo. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Um, I just love this. And this is something that we are going to start doing every single month. I know we did one last month, but I just want to get the district managers on this call. And just, I love to hear your whys. It helps me connect to you. Um, and even if you're not in my nation, you guys, we share our nation pages. We share our nation meetings. So the more we can get connected to your why, the better. So I just want to congratulate all of you for being on this call. And Chelsea, you are right behind, sister. The fact that you're on this call and wanting to hear what the new districts here um, just means that you're setting the bar higher for yourself. So that's fantastic. And thanks for being brave and putting that out there because that's awesome. Um, so we're going to get started. We want to keep this call nice and short because you guys are on here because you're like, what's next? What do we do? Um, so Jen is going to kick it off with um, the start. And then we're kind of just going to alternate a little bit here. So uh, Jen, you can take it away. Perfect. All right. So yes, guys, congratulations for me as well for um, promoting to district manager. So um, you can get to district manager in many different ways, which some of you guys, we probably span the different variety of ways you can get to district manager. You can do it as a team of one. Um, you can do it like with a team. Maybe some of you have created an amazing team. Maybe some of you guys have created a team and maybe already experienced some of that nat natural um, kind of, oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for, Becca? But when, you know, when people just aren't in, in it as much as you anymore, and that's, and that's okay, that happens naturally with businesses. But either way, regardless of how you got here, we're so proud that you set this goal and that you achieved it. And one of the things that I really want to start off by saying is that you guys successfully became a district manager hold on to this feeling and also kind of the foundational basics that you accomplished in order to achieve this because these are the skills and the way that you are going to continue to build your Arbonne business even at any level. Me as a national vice president, Amy, or national vice president, Freudian slip, look at that, okay, <laughs> as a regional vice president, and <laughs> glad that's recorded. And um, Amy and Becca as national vice presidents, guys, we constantly are working to build districts within our team all the time. So what you have just accomplished means that you can reach any level of Arbonne. Um, so kudos to you. Woohoo! All right. I got the next one. There yeah, you go. I love that, Jen. Sorry, I'm still just on cloud nine that you called yourself an MVP. <laughs> Guys, that's where it starts. And I'm going to end with some vision work. And let me just tell you that, you know, I was calling myself an MVP before I was an MVP. So just, just you know, success leaves clues. Um, that's another thing I'm going to say is be coachable and listen to other people because if they've gone before you and done it, that means that you should be listening to them. So God love that, Jen. Um, so... <laughs> I love this. We have like a little slide PowerPoint and I love this one. It's called like spoiler alert. And I think this is a really important part of your journey with Arbonne is to learn that you guys are in a really exciting spot because you just promoted, but to also have the emotional backing, the understanding that Arbonne is a people business. And if you think about it, people quit gym memberships, people quit marriages, people quit all sorts of things. And in that same respect, people quit Arbonne. And I remember when I was talking to Shane, one of my uplines on a car ride in my first, like one of my first times. And I was like, why do people quit Arbonne, Shane? I don't get it. Cause I was so in it. And she's, and I remember her 
using the analogy, she's like, people get divorced. I'm like, okay, I get it. It's a commitment thing, you know, whatever it is, you know? So don't be scared of things that might happen in your business. Um, let me tell you guys, you haven't lived in Arbonne if you haven't had um, a witness protection program Arbonne consultant. And what does that mean? Is that someone joins your team and then within 24 hours, you should probably put them on the milk curtain box because they have disappeared. I do not want you to value yourself less or think anything less of what you've done. People are people and Arbonne is a numbers game. I always tell this to my team. I'm like, think of your Arbonne business as a deck of cards. You're gonna have to go through some jokers. You're gonna have to go through some ones and twos to get to those kings, queens, and aces. And sometimes it means hitting those people early. And other times, you know, if you're a district, you're like, I did it in one month and you're kind of like feeling cocky. Well, maybe you picked an ace up first, but your next seven might be joker, 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 one, one, one. And that's okay. That happened to me in my business. In my first six months, I flipped over jokers. And after six months, I flipped over my first ace, which was Jen. But if I had quit earlier than that, I wouldn't have the business I had. Two years into my business, I had a ton of more jokers and ones, and I had to recommit to my business and realize that it was more than just um, how I felt that day. It was more painting the vision for what was to come. I was telling my team the other day in a call, Arbonne requires you to have a rubber butt. And what does it mean by a rubber butt? You fall down, you bounce back up harder. Honestly, guys, that is the number one key to success to Arbonne. Other things that you will have to go through, it's called the dip club. Has anyone ever been part of the dip club? Anyone know what that is? It's when you host an Arbonne presentation and no one comes, so at 9 p.m. you're standing in your kitchen eating your own dip. That happens in Arbonne. I just wanna be the first one to tell you guys this. If maybe not the first one, but just to reiterate, things happen like this. I tell people all the time, Arbonne is no one else's priority. Think about the first time someone invited you to an Arbonne thing, where you're like, yeah, I'm getting in my car, I'm going now. You're probably like, nope, like, like when Jen invited me, I was like, nope, I'm not going to that thing. She's gonna have to call me six times, and yep, she would called me the day of and begged me to come, and I went. So remember that, remind yourself that this is your priority and no one else's, and you have to be the one to decide that you guys are gonna keep going. So I can't emphasize that enough. You're gonna feel like you're the only one going through this because when you see social media, you see highlight reels. You don't see me getting four no's like, you know, you can't say the right thing to the wrong person or the wrong thing to the right person. I sent out this beautiful message to someone today thinking she was gonna join my team and she's like, not interested, thanks. And I'm like, oh, like you think as a national vice president, I get all yeses. We don't get all yeses. We get a ton of no's. It's whether or not that rubber butt is strong enough to bounce you back up and get back to your why. So have that in your mind as you grow this business. It is okay to hit no's. It is okay um, to have a plateau, but just keep going. It is so worth it. So um, Jen's going to get you guys excited now about your district. How can you um, ramp up what you've been doing? How can you stay in momentum? And um, what are some goodies Arbon gets to give you? <laughs> yeah, so Arbon has these awesome, like, um, exclusive specials, I guess you could say, when you promote to district manager. And I think sometimes these are forgotten about. So I'm really glad that we're highlighting this for you guys. And this information can be found on the source. So real quick, you all should know where the source is, but resources tab, the source, search for a district manager, like bonus boosters. So I'm going to go over them like real quick, but basically Arbonne is gifting you and incentivizing you for literally just doing your job and maintaining district manager. So the main district manager maintenance level is 2,500 in your central district. District. And if you do that for the two consecutive months after promoting, Arbonne gifts you a water bottle and you can also get an RE, like an exclusive water bottle, by the way, not one that you just get like off of, you know, the regular Arbonne water bottle off of the um, website. Really cute water bottle. And you also get um, an RE9 set. So, and then doing this also, you can achieve it by promoting a new district manager. So check out those. Um, uh, that offer, I guess you could say, make sure you know that by the back of your hand, write it down. This could be another like goal that you set and another like thing that you achieve to really help you stay on track. Guys, it is so normal that after you promote to, instead of taking a little bit of like a breather, cause I know you all work so hard to become district manager. Sometimes we end up accidentally taking a break and we were like, Oh, oh gosh, like we, we hit this goal. Like I'm just going to like rest back a little bit and just like enjoy it. Cause I worked like really hard guys. I know Amy has taught us this when you promote, you should still be working just as hard um, for your next couple months after promoting as you did to reach that promotion. And we say that not because we like want to work you guys like crazy, but just because that's going to help you build a really strong, strong business. And the last thing we want is to have you be under the stress of feeling like you can't maintain this amazing achievement of your promotion. So the other part of the success or, you know, kind of the um, boost it portion, I guess we could call it is 
if within the first six months after you have promoted to district manager, so if you've promoted, take a look at what your calendar looks like when your six months is up. If during that time you achieve your district manager bonus, which also um, Becca's going to go into in a little bit, but basically that's earning two hundred extra two hundred dollars in your paycheck. When you do that within the first six months after promoting, you're going to get an extra hundred dollars in your paycheck. And that's literally Arbon giving you money just for doing your job. And that is what Arbon does. And it's amazing. <laughs> so make sure that these boosters are on your mind, that you've printed this sheet out, and that you're including them when you're setting your goals for these next few months to come after promoting. So into bonusing. Becca's going to just talk yep. a little bit more about that. Yes, guys. So this should get you so excited. And I've always listened, you know, oh, I listen now. Maybe I didn't listen before. <laughs> I don't know, Amy. Um, but Amy says, treat your qualification period like a six month time frame. The first three months Arbonne cares about as far as your promotion, the next three months you should care about. And then Arbonne actually caught up with this and said, what can we do to keep these people excited after they promote? So here's a way to get some swag by just doing your job. Here's some way to get extra money by doing a little bit more. It is so phenomenal what Arbonne is doing. District manager bonus, you guys, if you are a new district manager or if you are a national vice president, you can still earn your district manager bonus every single month. What does it mean? It's 5,000 QV in your central district and five new preferred clients or consultants doing a 150 QV order. It is simply that. If you're sitting here and you say, I have other district managers in my business, talk to your upline. We'll kind of explain what it means with a central district. I'm not going to go into that is, but that's something that I still do every, I, you know, that's what I strive for every single month is doing 5,000 in my central district. Cause what does that mean to me? I'm growing like a new district manager. We are always in our minds thinking as a district manager, if you guys are a district you can go nation because all we do every single month is say, how did I do it as a district? How did I do it as a district? I got five new into my business every month, or was it, whether it was a preferred client or a consultant, and I did 5,000 in my QV because I personally do my brick, my 2,500, and I want people coming into my business to be successful, and I'm teaching them to do that too. All right, I'm going to leave it to that. Absolutely. Then what, then we'll go into, so I hit this goal. I went, I achieved district manager. Like now what, now what do I do guys? Every single promotion or maybe even like life change or fluctuation in your business or whatever it might be is a perfect time to then kind of like reevaluate your why clarify your why maybe now at this point, maybe your why is even bigger. Your reason for joining this business is even bigger and broader. Um, that all is just constantly changing. So really get in touch with that, dig deep into like, you know, Again, because our why is really what drives us in this business. You know, most people don't just start a business, you know, just for fun or just because like, you know, why not? When things get hard, we rely on our whys to keep us pushing forward and things will, will get hard. And we don't say that to scare you guys or anything like that, but it's just the reality of business as it is. Um, but after every little lull, there's a, there's a high, there's a high point. So guys, your why is what is going to carry you through and ways that you can even like fuel yourself even more through this period. And as you're building beyond district is really plugging in, staying in tune to all the team activities. You know, we've got meetings, we've got training calls and you guys are amazing. You're on right now, or you're watching this recording. That means that you guys are really staying plugged in, stay on top of your personal development, ask your upline for their book recommendations. Um, I mean, if you haven't yet, read all of Rachel Hall's stuff because she's coming up in Vegas with us. Um, so really keep in tune to that and also listening to sound clouds. Those are some of my favorite ways to stay in tune with my personal development. And Becca had mentioned it, but fight for your 2,500 building brick new and you every single month. Guys, at this point, as a as manager level, you're 2,500 bricks. So that's any volume that you are bringing in in personal sales that you have, you know, bought stuff for yourself and also can add in any new business builders from that month that are direct to you. That, you know, encompasses your 2,500. As a manager now, guys, that should be your personal bare minimum goal for each month. And that is something, again, like at all levels that we constantly strive for. So don't, if you're, as you're building a team, don't go into manager mode. Yes, it's district manager, but it should not be manager. Don't, don't fall into that. I know we all have like personally done that and we all regret it. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Um, just keep focusing on that personal, on your personal business and all of the basic foundational principles and activities that you guys did to get you to promote and to get you to this point where you're at right now. Cause that needs to stay with you the whole entire time as you're building a team. 
So on to building a team. So we're going to keep this quick because you guys, um, the reason that we put this in the slide and why we think it's important is because some of you might be a district of one or two or five that's now one because of that, you know, milk carton consultant that you have. Um, so some tips that I use, what I think is beneficial is first off, no notice when people are looking for Arbonne. And I think it even says notice when people are telling you why they need Arbonne. Have Arbonne like have your Arbonne ears open all of the time. And that doesn't mean someone is saying to a conversation with someone else, oh, I need Arbonne, I can't pay for this. But if I'm hearing like the other day at work, someone's talking about how they are having trouble affording childcare and you know, going back to work with these two young kids, I, you know, it, whether it's appropriate in that moment or to send a voice memo when I get home later that day, I am, you know, sending something from the heart and saying, hey, I heard that you were talking about this. You, um, you know, you tugged at my heartstrings because this is a reason why I'm looking, you know, why I was growing my Arbonne business, da 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 Someone's talking about something wrong with their skin or something with nutrition. And I, there's a fine line between throwing up Arbonne, which I think when you're new, all you want to do is throw up Arbonne on people. But as you know, and weaving Arbonne into conversations and Jen and I were talking about before this, I'm like, how many times do we jokingly bring up Arbonne? Like when someone's talking about something like, well, you could do Arbonne, you know, have your thought, you know, like having it be fun and light. That's how I run my Arbonne business. I keep it light. I keep it fun. Um, I weave it in. Gosh, people, you know, are always asking me, where's Becca going off on her next trip? Because my Arbonne, I, I show Arbonne as a lifestyle. And they even wrote on here, utilize social media to create excitement and intrigue. Notice excitement and intrigue, not post about RE9 ingredients or post about a fizz stick. Excitement and intrigue. People are watching you. And if you guys haven't done a post in social media today or the last three days, start now. I'm working with some district managers on my team who have never made a social media post and I'm holding them accountable to do it every single day. And it doesn't have to be an in-your-face Arbonne thing, but if it's a baby holding um, a protein shake or they're out for a run and they're drinking a fizz, whatever it is, Start the journey now. I can't tell you how many times people have reached out to me and said, Becca, I've been watching your journey and I'm really interested, but I've been in Arbonne five years, guys. It had to start somewhere. And honestly, people sadly are watching you on this journey probably to see if you'll fail or fall off. I mean, there's some positive people out there who are like rooting you on, right? But people are on there watching you go, oh, she just started that thing. Good for her. We'll see how long that lasts. Prove them wrong, but do it in a fun way. I can't tell you how many times people have, you know, have, join my team because of the fun that I see. And like social media does it for you. You have to be real. You have to be fun and authentic. Um, okay. Other than that, um, you guys reach out with intention. I learned the hard way a long time. I would reach out only about, um, products. And when I heard a no, that was a hard stop. What I'm doing now is I'm reaching out every single time with voice memos or text. I kind of go back and forth. I'm still trying to figure out what's most effective to be honest. <laughs> um, but leading with the business and leading with, you know, um, this is kind of a random thing I'm sending to you. I'm sending this to you because I'm being brave, be real. And then say, I thought of you because X, Y, and Z, you seem like someone who's fit. You seem like someone who likes pure products. Da, da, da. If I sent you a video about Arbon, would you humor me and watch it? That's what I do. If I would you, people are like, yeah, sure. Send it over and then follow up. I really highly suggest if you guys want to do one-on-ones with people who are looking at the business, bring your upline, having that third party validator. Shane used to say until your Mercedes is your third party validator, bring a third person. You know, not only are you going to grow from listening to them do the opportunity, but you're going to have someone else there who's kind of bouncing ideas off of you guys. I can't emphasize enough. I love sitting in on two and ones. It energizes me and it teaches other people how to then do it with their team. All right, I'm gonna stop there because we're running out of time. Go, Jen. Perfect. So then what we got next is looking at area manager, the next level, guys. You you check the box on this one now. What's next? It's area the level of area manager. So quick review, guys. This is an on average one thousand to four thousand um, dollars a month in income. You, you um, your business is willable at this point as well. God forbid something should happen to you, but your business remains booming. Your beneficiary can benefit from that. Guys, at this level, at area manager especially, you're starting to build leadership skills. You're building an amazing team. You can get to district manager as a team of one. You cannot get to area manager as a team of one. Well, perhaps you can, but that would be amazing. <laughs> Why not? Just prove me wrong. Um, so, and guys, I also want to say that this level does not have to be a year or two or six months or whatever down the line. Guys, this can be a goal for you right off the bat. What is area manager? Area manager is only four people doing district numbers. 
2,500, 2,500, 2,500, 2,500. Think of it in that way. It breaks it down really, really simple. And then right after that, guys, you are well on your way to earning your Mercedes. As just, you know, when you, when you hit area manager, then you're on your way to Mercedes. Um, so real quick, guys, I want to really encourage you guys to look at the success plan. You should know the success plan, print it out, whatever you should. I mean, you don't have to know it like the back of your hand. I still look at it all the time. You should know where it is. You should understand the requirements for getting to area manager. Um, and so I'm not going to go into depth of that. So just please talk with your upline, create a plan and um, look at the success plan because they redid it like a year ago or something. And it's beautiful and it lays it all out and it's all where the information is for you. So the next thing you guys, first of all, area manager should be where your sites are set right now. And I am huge on vision. My team knows that when I was a district, I put 10, 10, 10, cause it's, you know, 30 over three on my bathroom mirror. Amy probably still remembers the selfies with me and Steve doing a smile when I crossed off one of them I had on my, on my fridge, I will attend the white party in Vegas, whatever it is. The other huge thing, when you get to be an area manager, other than the white party, other than some other fun opportunities, you have the opportunity to go to RBP to be, which Lauren and Asia, um, two areas on my team just went to, you become an area by July, you have to bonus twice as an area by December and you can go out to the home office. They had the time of their lives. We're surrounded by people who are in RVP call, going RVP, lifted them up. These are the opportunities you want to be around for. So please make your vision huge. And that's where I'm going to leave it with you guys. Vision is everything in this business. If you don't believe it, if you don't write it down, if you don't tell people around you, if you don't declare it to yourself, and your team, and maybe it's a one or two person, I don't care if you declare it to your cat or the pillow on your bed, saying it out loud. I, every single day, have my affirmations that I'm saying every single day in my office out loud to myself because I know that my brain will receive information for what I'm telling it, and it's gonna think that that is its reality. Do you guys know that? Your brain is simple. Tell your brain what you want, and your brain thinks that that's what it's doing. So one thing that I did, and this is um, kind of funny, and this is typical me, but now I don't know if you guys are new districts. Well, I know who are you are, new districts, but I don't know if any of you guys got this when you became a district. Did you guys get a certificate in the mail saying congratulations on being a district? Is this still a thing? Yes or no? Yeah, okay. So I got this four years ago or whatever when I became a district manager, okay? Congratulations, my old name, December, oh, 1st, 2014, district, district manager. Do you know what I did the day that I got this? I went out and got four matching frames that day, four, because I knew that I was gonna be going every single level of this business. Look what I got to frame. I had to get a bigger frame. It came as a card with all the home office signing it, but it says, welcome to the world-class team of Arbonne National Vice Presidents. Is your vision that big? Do you guys believe that you can make it to the top of this company because you are absolutely worth it? And if you can go district, you guys, you can go nation. It's just repetitive action. It's having that rubber butt to, to keep going and you have to make your why big enough. Learn from me. I lost my area manager when I was a couple years into my business because I lost my why. I started to achieve the things that I um, got from my original why and I never tweaked it. Cecilia Stoll, Cecilia Stoll says success is the worst thing for you because you then start to get complacent. As soon as one why gets checked off, make your why bigger. Not only for you, for the people that are on your team. I can't tell you the lives that I've been able to change, not just personally, but through my team because I chose to stay. So that's what I'm telling you guys. Go out today. If you have, um, well, you all have an upline, send your upline something that you're doing with vision today. If it's something that's on your fridge about working towards earning the AIT trip, if it's Pick out your Mercedes. I teach my new consultants to pick out their Mercedes. You betcha when I was a new consultant, my Mercedes SUV was taped on my fridge the first day that I became it because my dad said, Becca, you're a CEO. How's it going? I'm like, I've been in the business 20 minutes. He's like, I don't care. You started your own business. You're a CEO. Pick out what you want. It is not a coincidence to make it to national vice president. It is all up here. So you guys have to decide. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I'm going to keep this recorded to send along to other districts, but I love you guys. You are the bread and butter of this business because you are the ones who are working and grinding and keep teaching people how to do what you did because you guys are absolutely destined to make it to the top. Okay. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>